Assalamu alaikum to you all. Thank you for being here tonight. My name is Asya Sellers, and I'm currently in the senior class here at Zaytuna. Looking forward to graduating this May, inshallah. But many of you here tonight already knew that, because you've known me since I've been a little girl. I've grown up with Zaytuna, and Zaytuna's grown up with me. For me, Zaytuna College didn't start in 2009, but in 2002, when my mom and my sister Jen and I flew from Virginia to join my dad, Brother Harun Sellers. He moved here to California because he wanted to serve and seek benefit from Sheikh Hamza and the beautiful people rallying around him to start what was then called Zaytuna Institute. 631 Jackson Street in Hayward was not only the Institute's address, but my family's as well. Back then, we didn't live in the apartment next door that we do now, but in one of the Institute's office rooms. Zaytuna was literally our home, and the beautiful people behind it were our family. I played and prayed there and built lifelong friendships. My introduction to Arabic started with Qari Omar's Quran classes and calligraphy workshops with Haji Nuruddin. I was blessed not only to spend time with male and female scholars of the law and heart, but to be embraced by loving and nurturing community of aunties and uncles. Together, they impressed upon me the importance of loving Allah and his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the importance of service. As I got older and my world became bigger, my teenage years showed me that not everyone loves Islam or even knows what Islam is, including many Muslims. As a scarf-wearing Muslim woman of color, I became aware of the hate and ignorance that fear of the other produces. By then, I had taken many years of martial arts, so to be honest, I wasn't too worried about that. <laughs> but what I was afraid of was the ignorance I was becoming aware of within myself. As I neared my high school graduation and news of so-called Muslim terrorists abounded, I knew to my core that they were utterly wrong, but didn't quite know how to explain it to myself. So when I heard that Zaytuna Institute was becoming Zaytuna College, it wasn't a dream come true, but a need come true. After surviving four years here of an extremely rigorous and evolving curriculum, I've had finals week meltdowns and crushing moments of doubt along the way, but through it all, uplifting certainty that at Zaytuna, I am exactly where I need to be. I can't imagine my life without the mental sharpening of logic, the inspiration of Azadi's deliverance from error, the grounding of the Selma service learning trip, the focus of archery, the soul taming of horseback riding, and of course, the life-changing sisterhood of the dorms. But the reason I am up here is that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, La yashkurullaha man la yashkurun nas. He who has not thanked people has not thanked God. Through your support, you all have given me the seeds to grow wherever I am planted. And not only that, will have enabled me and my classmates to graduate debt free. So it just wouldn't be right to step off this stage. <laughs> Thank you. It just wouldn't be right to step off this stage without expressing a heartfelt thank you. Thank you to my parents for having the courage and resilience to start a new life in an unfamiliar place and for being the people I want to be when I grow up. Thank you, Sheikh Hamza, Dr. Hatim, and Uncle Imam Zaid for having the vision and the heart and determination to start this project and see it almost 20 years through. Thank you, Uncle Feridun, for supporting Zaytuna before it was even Zaytuna. Thank you to all of my aunties, and uncles, all of you here in this room, all these faces that I see before me. They say it takes a village and you all are the village that raised me. In the same way you have raised Zaytuna through all of your dedicated and continued support and prayers over the years. Thank you to our global community of supporters for believing in us, for becoming an extended part of this beautiful community and legacy and making all of this possible. Thank you to each and every single one of you who has ever supported Zaytuna, prayed for Zaytuna, donated to Zaytuna in any way, big or small. And thank you for making the college's mission to educate 
and prepare morally committed professional, intellectual, and spiritual leaders who are grounded in the Islamic scholarly tradition and conversant with the cultural currents and critical ideas shaping modern society, thank you for making that mission an enduring reality. May Allah grant us afiyah and tawfiq. Thank you very much. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah.